Welcome to the video blog. I'm Doug Simon at DS Simon. I'm here with Ron Tarosian in the conference room at 5 WPR's very successful agency. He's just come out with a new book for immediate release. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Great. Now, what the title of the book also affirms is the value of media communication, whether that's traditional, whether that's digital, for immediate release. It's not about changing logistics. It's getting good coverage for your clients or keeping them out of bad coverage, as you like to say. Sure. I mean, you know, good public relations today means something different for every single client. Public relations is about dialogue. It's about controlling the conversation, influencing the conversation. Uh, for some of our clients today, it's about getting them on the front page. And as you said, for some of them, it's about keeping them off the front page. Um, sometimes it's about holding big events. Sometimes it's about influencers. Every single day at this agency and every single day in this business, you don't know what's going to look like until the news hits, until the story hits. Um, it's always a continually changing, exciting environment. So what's the balance between proactivity and fast reaction time? Because you need both, but where do they play into this? I would tell you that it's, um, every, again, every client's different. And entrepreneur, many of our clients are entrepreneurs, entrepreneurial minded. So you can be a huge company and be entrepreneurial, or you can be a huge company and be very slow. Hmm. Um, I think that for me at my desk, a lot of it is really reaction on the move. Um, which is why, you know, people always say, why are you working on the weekends? Well, that's when you, know, you can actually get work done. <laughs> um, you know, I think in this business, it's necessary to always come in early in the morning because no matter how late you are here, there's always something going on. Um, I think that for us at this agency, a lot of it is pre-planning and a lot of it is reacting to what's going on. And every single day is something different. So if you're advising clients in general, and obviously there are major differences between each account, what are three things they need to just be keeping in mind as they plan what they're trying to do? So when you're thinking about, when brands are thinking about building their message, okay, I'll tell you the first thing that I'll tell you owning a PR agency is that public relations is the most effective, cost-effective way to build your brand, okay? You know, people talk about these multi-hundred million dollar agencies that are ad agencies. For a million dollars a year, every PR agency in the country will chase that business. Try and call a mid-size ad agency for a million dollar a year account. Nobody's even returning your call. Certainly not the behemoths. Right. So I would tell you, number one, is that public relations is a very cost-effective way to build your business. Number two, in the media, nobody cares that your basement is flooded. Nobody cares that it's your wife's, you and your wife's 25th year anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, the media often wants a story and they want it now. Right. So if you are in the media and the media calls you, then make sure that you respond quickly. You know, one of the things that my BlackBerry is always connected to me at the hip and it's something that all of our staffers here have all the time because if you miss a call by two, three, four hours, that's it. You know, you might wake up and check Google when you walk back to your desk <laughs> and say, wow, we weren't included in the story or wow, they misreported it. I would tell you that uh, make sure that you realize that things move very, very quickly. Um, and I think the third, the third thing I'll tell you is to realize that the most powerful media in the world is really Google. The most powerful media in the world is really search engines. So as much as one or two or three stories is important, know what the dialogue out there is being said about you. Understand what Twitter is saying, what Facebook is saying, and know what's being said about you on Google. Monitor conversations and respond to them. Yeah, it's interesting that you talk about Google because one of the things that's been really helpful for our business growth has been the value of video to improving search and multimedia. Do you also get involved with the content creation part? If you Google PR agency and PR firm, tell me what comes up number one. More often than not, we come up number one. And I've noticed that you guys do a great job with simple things like doing video. It's good content. People yeah. enjoy it. And if you were only to interview a public relations pro once or twice a week, nobody else is doing that much video. Right. And it's good content. And so great you're getting 100 viewers or 500 viewers or 50,000 viewers. I Actually, 100,000 a month. 100,000 viewers count. a month is phenomenal. It's amazing. But for me, if I'm you, what's more important is if you're leading for your five most important keywords, right? Yeah. For me, I want to own PR agency, PR firm, public relations, the important words there, right? And um, we're doing a tremendous amount of, yes, content creation, search engine optimization, online reputation management for our clients, a big piece of our business, and I think it'll only continue to grow. I think a big challenge for our industry is that we own that category rather than advertising. I think that we as an industry haven't done a very good job of owning that content creation, as you called it. Absolutely. Frankly, I think, you know, I mean, we last sat four or five years ago, me and you. Yeah. 
and I've noticed you are one of the few providers in this industry to consistently and constantly put out good content. And it's just, it's amazing. I and mean, frankly, you, know, you have 100,000 viewers. I'm one of them yeah. because I see a competitor being interviewed. I see somebody smart being interviewed. And frankly, I'm not seeing them on Fox News. I'm not seeing them on CNN. Mm -hmm. And one of the trades is running a small article. It's not the same as hearing their voice. Right. And I'll commend you for that. And Thank obviously, you. it helps your business. Um, it is. We're actually starting a whole new initiative. We've trademarked PR Kidding, which is the intersection of marketing and public relations, the idea of creating opt-in worthy content, but then advances an organization goal. And one thing I can say to compliment you while we're in this like compliment fest over here is that by building your brand and your reputation, that's the most compelling message you've got to brands out there that you know how to build their brands and reputation because you're doing it. You're not just saying, we'll do it for someone else, but we have no clue how to do it for ourselves, I think it makes a big difference. Look, you know, I mean, I'm 37 years old, so thank God, you know, today we're about 100 employees, we're a top 25 agency, and um, I haven't always said the nicest things, and I certainly have said things that I regret. But, you know, when you're going very quickly, you know, it takes time to realize where you are in the world. We're not the only great PR firm in the world. There's a few others, a few. There's a few other <laughs> PR firms out there that do great work. Um, but I'm always amazed, frankly, that, People don't, in our space, do enough in SEO, in PR, in mm -hmm. digital content. Because if I asked you to name a SEO agency, many of us would be hard-pressed to do so. Right, right. If I asked you to add a marketing agency, you'd name 10. If I asked you to name a PR agency, mm -hmm. an ad agency, I think the digital space is a space that we as an industry should own. Mm -hmm. We're doing a tremendous amount of it. And frankly, we don't talk about it a lot because we see that our competitors aren't doing it, so we'd rather keep secrets. Yeah. It, it does make a difference. And now at 37, here's the final question. Has Ron Tarosian mellowed? <laughs> you know, well, I'll tell you with, um, I'm a very impatient person by nature. So my oldest daughter is now seven. And so for, you know, are you a father of children? I have our two boys going into their senior and sophomore years in high school. So you can try and drag a kid however you want. If your kid who's two or three or four doesn't want to move, tough luck. You're sitting there. <laughs> right. You're not moving. They're <laughs> screaming. Correct. So I would tell you that in many ways, I would certainly credit my children with um, changing my temperament and outlook in life um, on many things, the only good things, thank God. Um, but, you know, I think that... Um, we're successful. Thank God we continue to grow. And I think that people always continue to grow. And yes, certainly I've grown. And I hope I'll continue to grow and only get better. And I think that our future is very bright. I mean, I can tell you that this year we're projecting our first ever $15 million year. Um, we've had many acquisition offers. We have no interest at all. We continue to be, you know, one of the youngest owned agencies. I have a great senior management team. And um, I hope the next time that me and you sit, it won't be four or five more yeah. years. Um, but thankfully, our business is great. We continue to grow. Excellent. Thanks, and congratulations on the business and, of course, the book for immediate release. Definitely worth reading to understand. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.